Hey all, this is part 6, and we're going to do an if-else statement with an array. So we're going to complete a function that takes in two parameters, an array of ingredients for a recipe, and an ingredient to search for within that array. Determines whether the ingredient to search for is present with the array, and returns a specific string for each case. Your function should use an if-else statement to determine if the ingredient to search for is present within the list of ingredients, and if it is, should return the string, ingredient to search for is on the list. And if not, should return the string, ingredient to search for is not on the list, where ingredient to search for has the value of the argument the function is called on, or at least one of the arguments. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, find ingredient. So, let's grab this, paste our stub, and move this over so we can see all of it. And then we'll get our test cases pasted in there as well. So if ingredient to search for is present within the ingredient list, now you might recall the way that we're going to do this is by using index of. So we'll say, first we get our if else statement because we know we need one of those. We're going to do something in one case and another thing if that is not true. So the case that we want to check to see is that if the ingredient list dot index of the ingredient to search for so if the index of the ingredient to search for within the ingredient list is greater than negative one, meaning it has a valid index, meaning it's present, we're going to return, and they want ingredient to search for plus a string that says is on the list. We've got a space in front of the is, so the ingredient to search for space is on the list. And in the event that it is not greater than negative one, meaning that the index of the ingredient to search for is negative one, which is, that's how index up works. We're going to return ingredient to search for is not on the list. So if we run this, we'll see that sugar is on the list. Pop-Tarts is not, which is an egregious miscarriage of justice. Pop-Tarts should always be on the list. Except for pumpkin spice Pop-Tarts. I had some pumpkin spice Pop-Tarts the other day because I was missing pumpkin bread I used to have when I was a kid. And my goodness, Felt further away from home than ever. It's terrible. Highly, highly, what would you say? Disrecommend? I apply the not operator to the recommend function when talking about Pop Tarts of the pumpkin spice variety, because man, they were bad. Anyway, it might be the case they weren't that bad. I just had some, like too high of hopes. But in any case, we are in good shape on the code, albeit lacking good uh, shape on our pumpkin spice issues. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.